On today's Disney Roundup, Walt Disney World holiday festivities announced for 2024, what's returning for Halloween time out at the Disneyland Resort, and 4th of July offerings for this year at Walt Disney World. I have all that coming up for you right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Seriously, the Disney Roundup each and single week. Starting off with Parks news, announced to come this holiday season, Disney has shared dates for Disney Jollywood Nights, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, and other holiday festivities. Disney Jollywood Nights makes its return this year at Hollywood Studios. The separately ticketed event takes place from 7.30 p.m. to 12.30 a.m., which is an hour longer than it was last year, and takes place on 13 select nights from November 9th through December 21st. Jollywood Nights tickets will grant admission to Hollywood studios as early as 6 p.m. without the need for a day park ticket or Disney Park Pass reservation. Returning this year will be What's This Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas Sing Along, Disney Holidays in Hollywood, and Jingle Bell Jingle Bam. Festivities will also include a new dazzling skating spectacular set to your favorite holiday tunes on Hollywood Boulevard several times each evening taking the grace and skill of international champion skaters in an awe-inspiring twist on the traditional ice show. This year's event includes over over 20 unique character experiences featuring both new and returning favorites like Phineas and Ferb, Santa Duffy, Santa Stitch, Bo Peep, Lotso, Baloo, and King Louie. The Holiday Fiesta in La Calle will move to Animation Courtyard and there you'll be able to spot Jose Carioca and Panchito from the Three Caballeros. Meanwhile, the Twilight Soiree at the Tip Top Club located in the Tower Courtyard will have you dancing throughout the night. Jazzy Holidays at the Hollywood Brown Derby will also be returning. Guests of select Disney Resort hotels, Walt Disney World Swan and Dolphin Hotels, and Shade of Green can purchase tickets starting on July 2nd. For all other guests, tickets will go on sale on July 10th. Ticket costs range from $157 to $179. Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party also returns this year and takes place select nights starting November 8th to December 20th from 7 p.m. to midnight with admission granted to Magic Kingdom without the need of a day park ticket or Disney Park Pass reservation. Festivities will include cookie and hot cocoa locations throughout the park, Mickey's Most Merriest Celebration stage show, special themed ride overlays, along with Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, Minnie's Wonderful Christmas Time Fireworks, and the Frozen Holiday Surprise, and more. Tickets for Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party are limited and can be purchased online beginning July 2nd. For all other guests, tickets will go on sale on July 10th. Ticket prices start at $169 and go up to $219. The Epcot International National Festival of the Holidays begins on November 29th and goes through December 30th. There you can enjoy festive traditions from around the world with amazing holiday storytellers, delicious dishes, at holiday kitchens, merchandise, entertainment including candlelight processionals, and more, each celebrating unique cultural traditions. Animal Kingdom will have the return of a merry menagerie of winter animals. The Christmas tree stroll will be back at Disney Springs. Santa Claus will be making appearances across all four parks and gingerbread displays can be found across select resorts. Let me know what you think of all the festivities announced for this year in the comments down below and especially for the return of Disney Jollywood Nights. Also with Disney now bringing back Frozen Holiday Surprise instead of bringing back a Frozen Holiday Wish. Unfortunately, this means that there is another year without the dream lights that will be decorating Cinderella Castle. If you're planning on taking in any of the holiday festivities at Walt Disney World this year though, including Disney Jollywood Nights, let me know which ones in the comments down below. With 4th of July taking place next week, Disney has shared some of the offerings you can take in to celebrate the holiday at Walt Disney World. Next week, Walt Disney World presents the 4th of July with a spectacular lineup of fireworks, food, and festive entertainment. Disney's Celebrate America, a 4th of July concert in the sky returns and will light up the nighttime sky over Magic Kingdom. Portraits of Courage, a Commander-in-Chief's tribute to America's warriors is a special exhibit from George W. Bush 
Institute that debuted June 9th at Epcot. Sensational patriotic fireworks display, The Heartbeat of Freedom, will follow Luminous the Symphony of Us on July 4th at 9 p.m. While visiting Epcot, you'll be treated to the sounds of Americana from the legendary a cappella vocal group Voices of Liberty. Some of your favorite Disney pals dressed for the occasion and their Spirit of 76 attire will meet guests throughout the day at the American Adventure in Epcot. In celebration of the holiday, Spaceship Earth will be illuminated in bright red, white, and blue colors at night for a limited time while Disney World guests can dazzle their taste buds with all new indulgences debuting this year across the resort and the return of fan favorites such as the barbecued pulled chicken sandwich available at Regal Eagle Smokehouse. If you want to see the full list of 4th of July festivities at Walt Disney World, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. Coming this fall, Disneyland has shared some of the Halloween festivities that will be returning this year. Halloween time at the Disneyland Resort takes place this year from August 23rd through October 31st and through November 2nd for Plaza de la Familia. Foolish mortals, you'll be able to socialize with Sandy Claus again soon, just in time for the fall season. Jack Skellington and Halloween Town have put a spell on the Erie Estate with the merry makeover known as the Haunted Mansion Holiday. As the attraction's reimagined queue experience continues to materialize, Haunted Mansion Holiday will be available via virtual queue only. You'll be able to take photos with Mickey, Minnie, and their friends in new festive attire, available for the first time ever as a daily offering during the season. The interactive Mickey's Trick and Treat show encourages younger guests to enjoy a not-so-spooky sing and dance along with Mickey and Minnie at the Disney Theater and Disney California Adventure Park. Halloween Screams takes place each night featuring supernatural projections and other ghostly special effects viewable in front of Sleeping Beauty Castle. It's a small world facade, Rivers of America, and along Main Street USA in Disneyland. On select nights, Halloween Screams haunts the skies above Sleeping Beauty Castle as well, enhancing its seasonal mischief with fireworks. The Main Street Pumpkin Festival returns to Disneyland Park, anchored by the iconic Mickey Pumpkin. On Buena Vista Street in Disney California Adventure Park, Halloween motifs to add to the ambiance, while the rider of a unique apparition, the Headless Horseman, appears to light each night's darkening skies with his very own jack-o'-lantern head. In Disney California Adventure, the rambunctious residents of Cars Land put the nuts and bolts to their Halloween outfits and changed radiator springs to radiator screams with the ghoulish array of decor and the transformation of two family-friendly attractions. Each Twilight Guardians of the Galaxy mission breakout transforms into Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark. Inspired by the traditions of Dia de los Muertos, Plaza de Familia brings music, vibrant color, vibrant decor, festive foods, and exciting live entertainment to Disney California Adventure Park through November 2nd. Goofy's Kitchen with a Halloween twist will have Goofy and his pals don their seasonal outfits for a dining experience like no other at Disneyland Hotel. Storytellers Cafe at the Grand Californian will conjure an all-new autumn-inspired breakfast and brunch. With more nights than ever before, Oogie Boogie Bash will take over Disney California Adventure Park with signature seasonal sights and sounds and shrieks. Tickets for the event went on sale for Inspired Magic Key holders on Tuesday, June 25th. All Magic Key holders will have the opportunity to purchase them today, June 26th, and all guests will be able to purchase starting tomorrow, June 27th. If you plan on taking in any Halloween festivities out at the Disneyland Resort, let me know which ones in the comments down below. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. Just a heads up, there will be no Disney Roundup next week, as this week I'll be heading down to Walt Disney World for the opening of Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and I'll be staying the following week throughout the 4th of July holiday. So there will be no Disney Roundup next week, but I do have a video planned to go up around the same time as the Disney Roundup would, so you can look forward to that. That's all you for this week though. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and make sure you're subscribed. That's all you for this week though. Until next time, we'll see you on the DRU.